Now, in the last video regarding this uh, Artemis moon landing charade, they showed us a spacecraft and a globe Earth in the so-called vacuum of space. But when it was run through, the exposure levels were tinkered with. We could see that the craft and the globe Earth had been pasted in to a black background to give the impression that this was real. But of course, it's not. It's scientifically impossible as we can all test and verify for ourselves. Would us first just entertain the latest bit of silly propaganda coming from NASA? Bear with me. So before we entertain the latest pathetic bit of propaganda here from NASA, I'm going to give you all three scientific demonstrations, examples that can be tested and verified by all. The results of which prove this on our screen is just the silly charade that it looks. Not an opinion, a scientific fact that can be tested and verified by all. And here's why. One, large standing bodies of water do not have the ability to display convexity upon its surface. It's a scientific demonstrable fact. Gravity doesn't have the ability to change the molecular structure of large standing bodies of water, enabling it to display convexity on its surface, because gravity can be overcome by a gentle breeze. So it's obvious it doesn't have that ability. Again, another demonstrable fact. You can't have an air pressure system next to a vacuum without some kind of solid separation. They claim the Earth is a ball, has an air pressure system wrapped around it, and that ball is residing in the middle of a vacuum without any solid separation to separate the air pressure system from the vacuum. But every single scientific demonstration on this Earth involving a vacuum and an air pressure system requires a wall to separate the two. A scientific demonstrable fact. Another one tested and verified by all that proves the globe is scientifically impossible. And tower cranes and pendulums do not have the ability to be dead still whilst doing ludicrous speeds in all different directions. Another fact, particularly given the fact that every demonstration that involves a travelling pendulum shows it to deviate from the plumb. And that's usually when it's going in a linear fashion and not a very big pendulum. So imagine cranes doing ludicrous speeds in all different directions. Well, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? And again, you can cry out gravity, but gravity can be overcome by a gentle breeze. So it's not man enough to entertain your delusion, your fantasy world. Don't need it to be. Because the Earth's not doing ludicrous speeds in all different directions. Just like reality, just like real science tells us. Those three fundamental demonstrable facts, the water, air pressure systems and vacuums, and tower cranes and pendulums, prove without a shadow of a doubt that the globe Earth is scientifically impossible. If you want to try and refute me, put a scientific demonstration in the pinned comment to refute me. You're not going to be able to because the globe's impossible. And because of those three demonstrable facts, tested and verified by every single person on this earth, because of that, this silliness on our screen, we know it's fake without even entertaining it. But like I said, it should be obvious anyway. <laughs> Straight off the bat, the shadows on the craft, yet again, look out a whack in relation to the, the globe and the moon here. It's always the piano, in it? Let's tug on them art strings and hope they'll buy into this absurdity. Nah. I've just given you three scientific demonstrations, examples that can be tested and verified by every single person on this earth. Results of which prove this on our screen is fake, is a charade. It's not an opinion, it's a scientific fact. You want to try and refute it, 
put your science to refute me that backs the claims in the pinned comment. All you're going to do is expose yourselves and the globe and this moon landing charade for just being just that, a charade. If you're foolish enough to still be believing in this space pantomime, then that's on you. If you're foolish enough to still be defending stuff like this and the globe, then that again is on you. You will have to live with the repercussions of not only your lies and your deceit, but also your ignorance, whichever way round it is. Remember, I stand by the things that can be tested and verified by all. The most honest scientific approach. You think I'm in the wrong? Prove me wrong. Put your science in the pinned comment. And we'll do a whole video highlighting your globe science as you pathetically try to defend absurdities like this on our screen and of course the scientifically impossible globe which you're going to prove to us all anyway through non-citation of science just a bombardment of excuses and empty words have a good one everyone